Every skill check that these survivors fail gives them a 24% penalty on that generator. You heard me correctly. That's nearly a quarter of a gen of progress lost just by missing a skill check. But these skill checks aren't just your regular skill checks. They're tiny and they give you zero warning. And if you don't hit it, then that's nearly 30 seconds of your time completely wasted. And you'd better pray that you don't miss another one. All the skill check simulator training in the world isn't going to help you here. And on top of this, Behavior has now put a limit on regression events. So you can only trigger a maximum of eight regression events on each generator. But we might have just found a loophole. If a survivor misses a skill check, it doesn't count as a regression event. So we can still technically regress a generator by just making survivors fail skill checks. That's disgusting. This build is so incredibly evil and so much fun, especially when you get down to the last three generators. So let me explain how it works. All we've had to do is stack perks and add-ons that increase the penalty for missing a skill check. First, we have to play Freddy. Now, as boring as Freddy can be, you know what's not boring? Listening to a beautifully orchestrated symphony of gens all over the map that are losing massive amounts of progress just by survivors failing skill checks. It's like music to a killer man's ears. So, Fred. The reason that we're freddying it up today is because he has these add-ons that increase the failed skill check penalty by 4%. But these add-ons, they only work when survivors are asleep and failing skill checks wakes them up. So we're actually going to pair it with the iridescent paintbrush instead and stop the failed skill checks from waking them up. And it also forces them to start the game asleep. So if you wanted to try the add-ons together, you can get to 28% regression per failed skill check, but it's only going to work once before the survivor wakes up again. For our perks, we have Hex Huntress Lullaby, which is going to give them an extra 6% penalty on failed skill checks. Also at each stack, which we gain from hooking survivors, it's going to shorten the time between the warning queue, giving them less time to react. When we eventually get to the max stacks, which is 5, it will completely suppress the warning sound queue, making these skill checks so incredibly difficult to hit. Overcharge is next, and it activates on a gen kick. It gives survivors a difficult skill check to hit when they next go to repair it. If they miss this skill check, another 4% penalty is applied. So the base kit failed skill check penalty is 10%. Plus, there's another 4% from the add-on, another 6% from Huntress Lullaby, and if it's an overcharged skill check as well, that's another 4%. This gets us to a total of 24% of regression from just missing one difficult skill check. To enhance this build, I've also brought along Undying to help save our Huntress Lullaby, which they're going to be fiending for, as well as Oppression, which also triggers when we kick a generator. It then causes up to three more gens to start regressing and gives any survivor working on these generators a difficult skill check. This build is almost impossible to play against. Don't forget to like this video if you'd like to see more extreme builds from me and subscribe because it's free and it helps me out a ton. Now it's time to go conduct an orchestra. Oh, and also go follow my Twitch over at twitch.tv slash umishu. I'm live right now, so come stop by and say hi and watch me test more extreme builds like this one. All right, and on the Grim Pantry, uh, this should be an okay map, I hope. I think we'll just have to, it's gonna be really good for our totems for our Hunter's Lullaby and Undying, but we'll probably have to like suss out a nice little three gen early. Oh, this is the one. This is the one, two extra shack and this one in the center. We want to be able to constantly be pushing them off the gen so they're getting difficult skill checks and they're like failing skill checks as well. This one, uh, can I place one here? Oh my god, you, you jump scared the hell out of me, dude. Surely she vaults? She does not. She has a pallet up ahead, I think. Do we make it before that? Oh no, she's, it's way further than I thought it was. Holy shit, the Yui's are juicing tonight. Bro, why is she so fast? Oh, she's just refusing to go through the puddle. That's fine, she can keep running the uh, windows. Oh my god, bro, you nearly spun me, that's crazy. Please don't wiggle free. Um, and Leon is a bit of a, a double bone tickler. And, which is fine, because we have not dying. So that's why we see his aura. I'll keep this gen, catch somebody off guard. No, that's an oppression on it though. Wait, this gen has a lot of progress. Did I get it with oppression? I did, it's regressing. Hello, Leon. I did, in fact, see you there. All right, now that's a Hunter Solibi stack, which would be really good for them failing skill checks. There's a doll in this loop, which is, I think, why we saw his aura. Do we get in before the pallet? We do not. Wait, he kept running. We get a grab. Let's freaking go, dude. That's actually so good. I did not expect him to run back and try to go for the, uh, the pallet again. No progress. No progress. They have not touched this one. I ran right into Toledo, which is great. She's already asleep though, so this is not the end of the world. She's gonna camp the pallets. Oh dude, this is such a long loop. But what's she self-caring for? Alright, what can we do here? They're screaming in main. Leon, dude, what the hell are you doing, bro? 
Honestly, I did not see you, but... She medium bolts that. Interesting. Do we get her before she gets back to that window? We do, I think. She's gonna do the pallet instead. Nice, that's not a sleep target. Kick this gen for a pressure and overcharge. So when they do tap it, I think that the ace might have also been here. Is that a failed skill check? No, that's a well, that's a scream. Top up to that gen there. No progress. There is scratch marks though. That's the Toledo. She made mad distance. They did get my undying. But we still have our hundred of and dude, that's in the corner. Look at that shit. <laughs> they ain't ever getting that shit. That's crazy. That's so crazy. No progress. They're on me. They failed a skill check. And are they asleep? If there's an asleep target, that's 24% gone. That's literally, they have zero progress on it. That gen's back to nothing. That's crazy. Holy shit. Oh, dude, I can't do nothing here. This is so annoying. He's going to do another whole vault. I probably could have placed a uh, trap at any point. Uh, does Blood Loss catch us up here? Please. I'm teleporting because I need to check on my generators. Because there's a priority here. No progress. No progress. Okay, if they're going to pop this one, that'll be really sad. Oh, it's close. Fail a skill check. Fail a skill check. Fail a skill check. No, she got off it. Nice, nice, nice. We're going to overcharge on it. Oh, dude, that's an impression on that one. And I'm going to guess that it's not the Leon. That's my guess. Yeah, it was the Toledo. Which means that it was a... It could have been... Oh, no, Toledo or Ace. It was almost guaranteed that it was a 24% skill check. That's so stupid. That's so dumb. I'm going to get an injure on this Toledo. I'm going to get some 100 by stacks. Wait, is that a failed skill check? It was. Another 24% and we can vault there. Oh, uh, sorry, we can teleport. Can we get this down first? Please, my pallet. Please, my pallet. Oh, dude, she had a pallet. Of course she did. Oh, dude, I missed it. Oh, no. No, I missed the wrong generator. And now my thing's on cooldown. They might think I'm faking it. I actually fell down by accident. That's embarrassing. Dude, look at the progress. She would have spent so long on this gen as well. We didn't come back immediately. Another 10% gone to the kick. And an overcharge if they miss it, which will be another 24% if the Yui tries to touch it. This gen has no progress. Oh, they finished that one. Good stuff. This is the ace. I really need to find an injured survivor. Let's go back to the generator in case it's Yui. It was. I think she succeeded the skill check. She would have been ready for it this time. Let's get this down there. Nice. All right, sick down. Uh, hook her. Then oppression overcharge that generator. All right, no fails. What's gonna mean? Kick it again for overcharge. What's gonna happen is we are eventually gonna get to the eight. I think it's eight regression events on a generator. Uh, no balanced. Nice. She does have a pallet in here. Let's keep that in mind. Let's get her get in here now. Do we better? We better. Yes, belly. It'll mean that they'll no longer. That's another twenty-four percent. Holy shit! I'm gonna assume that's the. Uh... Oh, it might not be quite be twenty-four percent. Just twenty percent. Sorry, I keep losing my my uh, train of thought. Once it uh, eight regression events occur. What's going to happen is that their regression from failing a skill check will still happen. Um, we just won't be able to kick them anymore and actually give them harder skill checks. Yeah, just there. We can no longer kick that gen because we, no, we can no longer cause another regression event. But if they fail skill checks on it, that doesn't count as us causing a regression event. Um, so we're literally chilling. Dude, look how far it's regressed. That's crazy, dude. All right, we haven't checked on these gens in a while, so I'm really hoping they're not pumping them out. As long as a bit of progress. There's the ace. Oh, nice. That's convenient. Teleport away and you'll eventually get the free hit. Leave him injured. Let's get an oppression on it and an overcharge. It does have quite a bit of progress. Um, getting our next two stacks of Huntress Lullaby will be really, really nice if we can do that quickly. We really need some more hooks. This Leon does like the hide a little bit. So I'm hoping that he's a bit of an easier chase. Yui's also here. They're all asleep. Um, dude, I can't keep dropping chases to go for other people. <gasps> she ran back into me. Never mind. I'm oh a god. I'm oh a god. That was the best decision ever done. I'm right, gonna go back to the generator because I don't trust that they're not gonna they're gonna stay on it. They have not touched it. Which means it's gonna keep regressing. So we are literally fine here. Now Leon's waking up. A failed skill check. Ace got body blocked by the Toledo. Oh my god, he's a god. Holy shit, dude, I could not see him. Um I wanna kick the gen before Oh no, Hunter's Lullaby first. If they finish it, then. 
you know, too bad, too sad, but I'm praying they don't and I can actually get value from this. First hook on the ace, only four hooks overall. But considering we can deny this gen with an oppression and an overcharge. And it's a 20% if they do fail it, I think we're fine. They failed that one. So if that's Talia, that's 24%. Kick it again for overcharge. They're doing pretty well with the overcharge skill checks, honestly. These guys seem pretty good. Oh, this is the UE actually, so it was just 20% failed. Which is still a huge, it's like five, like one fifth of a generator. They finished main, which is fine. Well played, well played. Is she stuck in this corner? I think she is. Kick the power to this side. She has to keep running around. She might make it up to the upstairs pallet, but I'm praying that she doesn't. Nice, we get her on the corner there. Um, I think we have enough time to quickly hook her and then go back to the generator, especially because the hook is right here. We can check in this gen nearby and then we can teleport to the other one if we need to. Oh, she's death hook. Oh, dude, that's huge for us. They failed us to go check there as well. Um, if that's the and there. Wait, no way, dude. That was the Toledo. So that's 24% gone. That's fucked. That's actually so bad for them. That's the ace. He dropped down. We're going to fake that and then come around this way and try to catch him off guard. Yeah, he's right into the corner here. Another failed skill check. That's the Leon. Who's Wait, the Leon's also asleep. So another 24%. Another failed skill check there. Bro, what are they doing? How are they missing so many? Is that an overcharge one? We might try to cut him off here with a... Nah, we can't. Wait, this is Leon. He runs through. What are we doing? Okay, he fucked that one up completely. Apply overcharge to this one. And a pressure on those two. And the left fell skill check, bro. Toledo has no idea. Oh, dude, we actually hit that. Oh my god, it's the, it's the Freddy fingers. Bro was crazy with it. But they really have to prioritize uh, waking up. Because otherwise, they're just going to keep getting that extra 4% of regression. Um, and it's just not worth it. Um, he's just going to keep playing Shaq like this, isn't he? We don't have a red stain. Oh, we do! Because he was not asleep, so we actually mind getting that. Never mind, oh my god, accidentally. Genesis to regressing. Bro, it's back to zero, basically. Dead hard, dead hard, dead hard. We had to wait it out. He seemed way too eager to watch what we were doing. And he was waiting it out as well. That was really well played from him. This chance back at zero, dude. No fucking way. Leon, I have not seen it in a minute, but he has woken up. Yeah, we've hit another eight regression events on this one, too. That's fucked. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, this one's back at zero. Dude, clear this back on the generator. She failed the skill check. 24% gone. Let's check on the progress real quick. It's zero. It's back to fucking zero. No way, dude. Oh my god. This is so dirty. What a dirty build. You have no power downstairs. Because Yui already used it. So free hit there. We have another teleport coming up soon. Okay. Uh, she was really patient there. But then maybe a little bit too patient. I'm surprised that hit. Dude, I can't even keep track of the failed skill checks at this point. Another one at the pier is failed skill check. I hope right here will be nice. We can't kick this one. We can't kick that one. Up. Wait, they have failed how many skill checks? What the hell, dude? Um, teleporting might not be worth it. Never mind, we get a free hit, so it is. I was going to say, because we can't kick it anyways, but at this point, just getting the free hit is so much more worth it. We're literally holding an entire 4 gen with this build. Big body blocks. Not quite enough though. Do I? No, I'll just take a hook on him. This game needs to be finished because they're not going to get another generator done with three of them and this amount of regression. Because we can still kick both these two gens, which means applying oppression and applying overcharge. Oh, we can still damage the generator? Wait, how does that work? It got blocked, but we can just damage it again? Bro, is that bugged? Dude, I'm so confused. Bro, it's crazy. Bro, it's so good. He already used his dad hard, so we don't have another one. So we can just get that easy hook. Easy down, easy hook. She finally found the Hunter's Lullaby. And now she wants death. Understood, Toledo. Oh, merciless killer. Let's go, Freddy. Alright, in our mother's dwelling. Oh, this might be a bit of a rough one. This is really going to put this build to, the, to its limits. Because this is such a big map, um, it's going to be a lot harder for us to hold a solid or have an easier time holding a 3 or 4 gen. Because the gens will be a bit more split. Um, we do want to find... Wait, she has... You have object? 
Oh wait, no, it was an Undying Totem. Bro, that Undying Totem just gives us the best mind game ever. That's crazy. I think this is one of the Alan Wake survivors, like legendary cosmetics. I don't know her name. So I'm gonna call her, uh, what is she, a waitress? I'll call her a waitress. Um, I do want to also defend my totems a little bit. I'm going to do that by placing a snare at the totem. So if we somebody does them, we will hear them do it. Uh, don't tell me I have another pallet here, bro. All right, nice. That'll be first Huntress Lullaby stack. So that's a Huntress Lullaby there. Somebody vaulted. What was that? They failed us to check way over there. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a 20%. Can I put that there? I think that should get all of them. If they try to do it from any other sides. It is going to give us a free hit because she's defending this uh, waitress. But waitress, does she make it back around? She's not asleep. That was a waste of time. We nearly got the hit as well. I'm going to take this break and I'm going to leave. This has no progress. Oh, because they failed a skill check and they lost 20%. Dude, that's crazy. That's so bad. Jen has no progress. Somebody's screaming there. Not on my totems though, so we're chilling. Wait, Ada's already full health again? She's actually crazy. Uh, we can commit her here. Hopefully get a hit before a pallet. I can't tell there's a pallet in this loop. There's not, nice. That's a nice hit. Is that a sprint burst? She's 990? Un-1990? I can't tell. I thought she might vault back. Alright. They got my undying and they broke the... Wait, 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 wait. Did they get the other totem? Please no, please no, please no, please no, please no, please no. Are they on it? They're not on it. Thank God. She doesn't know I'm here. What is she doing? Well, what I can do actually is kick this gen. That's should oppression main, so I don't have to go and kick it. I should kick it for overcharge, but that's not really the priority here. Everyone's asleep. They feel it's good. 24%. Uh, 20%, sorry. No overcharge. Dude, 20% of a gen progress just from one failed skill check is fucked. Well, I'm just going to head back up. Now I'll failed skill check on that one. Kick the gen. That's an overcharge. She's going to run. So we can just try to cut her off here. Get a third stack of Huntress Lullaby, hopefully. Nice, nice, nice. The mind game. Wait for a second and then swing. Another... Wait, is that another failed skill check? That's an overcharge fail. So that is 24%. So that gen should be back to nearly zero. Hook her. Kick this gen. The gen's going to go back to zero, though. So it's not really worth it. Kick the gen. That's another overcharge. She's here. She is... Going to fuck up my little totem. I'm not going to chase her. I'm going to place this one back first because I don't want to come back for it. Do a teleport there. Should come back across. Oh, the waitress is going for my totem. She's going to keep running. She She's awake. So we have to mind game this one if we want a hit. Just like that. I'm. She should have dropped it though. Dude, another 24%. Now she's asleep. So this will be a slowdown. She'll drop it immediately. No, she won't, but I think we catch up here, especially with a, yes, a nice big lunge. Now, I don't know if she's, oh, shit. Whoa, she was too far away. She was too far away, that's fucked. Another skill check, dude. That gen's on zero. That gen is literally on zero. Now, Talita does know about my totem. Yeah, she's gone back for it already. We need to deny this one, so we're going to be camping this, uh, this totem a little bit. Because if they get it, then that's the build gone, essentially. Which is why we have Undying. And for them to get both is a lot of effort, a lot of work. Should get a hit here? No, not quite. Ah, she's nodding. She's nodding. She knows. Her nodding there actually gave me a lot of distance on her. Uh, is it enough though? Wait, wait, what is she mind gaming? Oh, dude, they're gonna get it. 16 seconds. 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Now we have time. Close though. Do they leave the area? Dude, my counting there was so off, but I felt like I was starting slow. I wanted to be more accurate. Go to the high ground there. If it has progress, we can kick it for oppression. Nice. Give us an oppression. Somebody's here. We did hit the uh, limit of that generator. Nice, we get a hit there. I'm really worried they're doing that totem now. That's another failed skill check. 
Uh, we lose Zora there, so not quite the entire duration. Oh, she ran right into that one. Do we go for the fifth stack or do we go for our totem? You know what? We have so much pressure right now. That even if they do get it, um, we might still be able to clutch up and win. Hope we get there in time. Nice. All right, we chillin', we chillin', we chillin'. We can overcharge it now. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to this gen, check on it, then teleport back to main, just so I can see the progress in this one. Oppression made it regress. So we can actually go over to this generator and we check on the totem along the way. LED goes straight for it, she gets it. But she might be a little afraid to do that considering she did just come off the hook. No, they hit up instead. Dude, how is this happening? Another field skill check on that generator. We can't kick this generator though, so we want to scare them off of it and then go kick another one. They went to our right. Oh, that's a nice balance. Still played. Doesn't quite get that. Nobody's on my totem. We don't make that, we go around. Maybe we would mind this game this one. Oh, okay, that was a weird play. Oh, he's here for the flashlight save. Hide it, get a hit, nice. Now she's asleep, so she does go for the totem. Um, we'll hear her scream. We have time to go for the hook. We can't exactly camp it though because uh, the anti camp mechanic will come into play. But we do want to keep an eye out just for our totem. It looks like it's a lot of progress. So this one's not a failed skill check, bro. What is going on? Was that an overcharge? I think it might have been. Is that a sprint burst? Well played. Double back. Uh, not a big deal though. We get a hit here regardless. Nearly a blind. Actually, that was a pretty sick play. If you had blinded me there, it could have been pretty bad for me. They do get the save. They can't get the totem. We actually want to hit the injured girl. Purely because I want her to be asleep. Not a big deal. I don't want to tunnel her. I just want to try to get a hit with her mend. But it seems as though I won't get the chance, so... I might have to commit to 80 here. Uh, I won't go for the hook. I'll go for the teleport because I want to deny that totem getting. 16 seconds is a lot of time. I assume they're not on it. Yeah, and Talita is full health now, and she's also... Still not asleep. But Elodie is, so we're chillin', we're chillin', we're chillin'. Uh, actually, I won't bother teleporting there. They're feeling like school checks everywhere anyways. They might have just given up on my totem, honestly. If you drop track pilot, I'll take that at least. Oh damn. Not even a risk. Okay, that's a scream, so we gotta go back right now. Should be 16 seconds, should be plenty of time to get to there in time. Yeah, there she goes. Replace it real quick and then we can head back to her. We're getting we're getting uh regression on that generator, and we haven't even looked in that direction, you know? Like, bro, what is going on? A field skill check, dude. Hit this for an oppression and overcharge. Elodie's still here, and she's gonna run me back right back to my totem, which is great. All right, and she lost a lot of distance. Yeah, they're trying to deny the totem getting. There are two people here, though, so let's make sure we get an injury or two. Guys, get off my goddamn hunter solo by. This is mine. You think you, think you can just come into my home? into my dwelling of mothers and attempt to destroy bones. Man, just no respect. Dude, see they're back already. All right, they're gonna keep running back and forth. It's in a bit of a dead zone. So if we can deny it. We do get it up. She's slowed there for a little bit. Nice, we're gonna force her back into it. She's gonna try to run away now. This is how the game goes. We just teleport back to our totem, make sure they don't have it. And in the meantime, there's gonna be failing skill checks. Every skill check they fail is a huge waste of their time. They're finally understanding how to counter me now. Uh, we're actually gonna wait if we get a chance to hit her until her timer runs out so we can make sure she's asleep. She might try to force an earlier hit. We're just gonna wait, we're just gonna wait. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And now she's asleep. Eight is comp corner me. Alright, dude. If they're on the totem now, then they get it. That's fine. I'm gonna take this down instead, because it's about time that I need to get another down. And right now, we have somebody on death hook. Mind game this. Fake it. She doesn't make it. She fakes it there, though, which is actually quite strong. I have swung for those before. She's, they're doing the totem. I don't think I have time to hook and go back. 
but I'm gonna do it anyways, just to see if we can get a close call. Okay, they got off of it. They did. They got one gen left, which is actually quite strong. I'm surprised they got uh, down so far. The other team did not. No dead hard. And this is our third hook all at once. And she's death hook. We can tell because there's only four hook states left. Kick it now for overcharge. And oppression will hit the other gens if they even can be hit anymore. She's going to hold W. All right. They failed another skill check on that one, bro. I can't even keep track anymore. Every explosion in the background is like, what, 20%, 24%? All right, nice. She's death hook. Another failed dude. Like, what is that? That's literally, uh, like, nearly half the generator, just from two failed school checks. Bro, that's actually fucked. This is so dirty. Ah, oh, free hit, dude. Why? No blinds because I looked away. I am not a moth. Yeah, nice. She got slowed. She could have taken that vault. That would have been better play. All right, nice. GG's. Well played. Oh, she made it. Nice. GG's, dude. Well played. Oh, they actually had fun? GG's. Fun game. Nice.